Good morning and welcome to a new episode of Creative Mind Gymnastics, The Art of Surviving. We are Susanna and Stefan Roller, and today we should light on a topic that many of us are all too familiar, Monday fatigue. Creative Mind Gymnastics, your source for fostering creativity and resilience. Join us as we provide daily insights and guidance to unlock your creative potential, boost resilience, and navigate life's challenges. Everyone knows that feeling on Monday morning, the heaviness that hangs over the start of the new week. But what if we told you that there are ways to dispel this shadow and make Monday one of your best days? Join us on an exploration to transform Monday fatigue into positive energy. Mondays are like opening a new book. Each week brings a new story, full of unwritten pages waiting to be filled with our experiences and adventures. Often, we flip through these first pages with hesitation, plagued by a lethargy that keeps us from diving into the new story. Instead of letting this restraint guide us, we should see Monday as an opportunity to begin an exciting new chapter in our lives. The psychological aspect of Monday fatigue is fascinating. It's not just the physical transition from rest to work, but also a mental shift. Our brains often associate Mondays with the end of leisure and the beginning of responsibility, which can lead to a kind of mental burden. This mental state affects our emotions and attitudes, which in turn impacts our motivation and energy. To overcome this mental hurdle, it's helpful to consider Monday as a fresh start, an opportunity to set new goals and develop fresh ideas. Positive mental exercises, like visualising successes or jotting down things to look forward to in the coming week, can alter our perspective on Mondays. Additionally, mental preparation on Sunday evening plays a crucial role. Instead of spending Sunday evening worrying about the upcoming Monday, use this time for relaxing activities that bring you joy and mentally prepare you for the new week. It's also useful to create a list of small but enjoyable things you can do on Monday, like listening to your favourite song on the way to work or planning a delicious lunch. These small joys can make a big difference in your perception of Mondays. Another key to overcoming Monday fatigue is sleep hygiene. A regular sleep schedule, even on weekends, helps us start the new week rested and full of energy. It's not about giving up the small pleasures of the weekend, but rather finding a healthy rhythm that keeps our bodies and minds in balance. And then there's the morning routine. Each of us has our way of starting the day. Perhaps it's a cup of coffee at sunrise, a few moments of silence, or a quick yoga session. Whatever it is, use this routine to give your Monday morning small rituals can have a big impact. Consider physical activity as a natural mood booster. A short walk, a light workout, or even some stretches can work wonders to awaken your body and invigorate your mind. It's not about overexerting yourself, but gently getting your body in motion. Finally, let's talk about the art of setting realistic goals. Often, we overload our Mondays with too many tasks and expectations. However, by setting achievable goals and celebrating small successes, we can create a sense of satisfaction and strengthen our motivation for the rest of the week. Interestingly, our experience of Mondays is not universal. In the GCC countries, including Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, the United Arab Emirates, Qatar, Bahrain and Oman, the work week traditionally starts on Sunday and ends on Thursday. This differs significantly from the Monday to Friday work week familiar in many other parts of the world. This distinct structuring of the work week reflects the cultural and religious peculiarities of this region, showcasing how our cultural backgrounds and lifestyles can influence our perception of the beginning of the week. In summary, Mondays don't have to be the enemy. They can become a powerful start to a successful and fulfilling week. It's about changing our attitude, preparing well, and taking small steps that make a big difference. We hope these tips help you look forward to your Mondays. Thank you for listening, and we look forward to having you in the next episode of Creative Mind Gymnastics. 